All right, now that I have sent the document to my phone, the next thing is to convert it to a VCF file. This is what will enable it to be saved as contacts on my phone. So this is the VCF file that I use. Wait, where is it? This one here. Yeah. If you want to get it, all you need to do is go to your Google Play Store. Google Play Store. Type CSV to VCF converter. This one I use. You are still going to see many, but this one I use. I tested others. Um, some of them not work for me. I'm not seeing others don't work. I'm just trying to say that this is one that worked for me and it's working for me. So when you open it, when you search it out, you download it. Mine is writing open because I already have it on my phone. So when you click on open, it's going to be like this. So what you're going to do is like, you're going to click on this five folder that is down, 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 down. Look that you're going to see a five folder there. This place that has red circle and white fire inside it. You click on it. When you click on it, it's asking you whether you want to select it from internal storage or from SD card. Remember, I sent mine to my SD card. I click on it. It brings out the different folders in my SD card. I need to do nice look for the folder. Remember, I saved it on my AZ folder. Okay, so this is the name of the file, 17 April 2021. I click on it. And then it's extracting the data there so that I can now create my VCF. My VCF file is just like a, a card for phone number storage. It's kind of already programmed in such a way that once you enter it on your phone, it will take out, extract the number and the names and the details there in the right order and manner so that it can be saved as a contact. So now, it has bring out the different fields. You know, when you're saving your phone, your phone number, it always brings out fields that will ask you to put the name, first name, the person's email, job description, you know, stuff like that. So, even their... their different details their whatsapp number that are different social medias even birthday any other information that you want to put but right now the only information on my this my cvs file is their name and phone number remember so i'll come here i'll choose whether i want to save it as a first name middle name or last name i'll just select first name and then when i click on it it brings out you can see these two things that came out now wait this number and name. This number and name is um, those two um, columns that I created. I hope you remember. I saved one column with name, another column with number. So now, if I select number in place of name, by the time I save this, it will be messed up because the phone numbers will be showing as the name of the contact. So don't make that mistake. All you need to do is to save it as name. And then you now go to... You scroll down to mobile phone where you get there, just ignore every other thing, just select mobile and then select number so that everything will be saved accordingly. This is more like a coded uh, something, like it's already programmed. So it's the instruction you give it that it will take. If you go and put name in place of as mobile number, it's going to not write name for you as mobile number. It's not going to make it useless. Do you understand? So be careful. Select name as the name and number as the number based on how you saved it there on the VCF, on the CSV file. So now that we are done, we are now going to click on create VCF file. And this file will be created. Once you are done with it, ensure to click on view. When you click on view, the number will, will show. And then you click on, like this how it is now, it's showing the names and the number this remember i saved it with c and number c as a letter and then the serial numbers so you now click on save when you click on save it will start see look up here you see this downloading downloading symbol that is showing up up on my on top of my phone is the number that is now being downloaded into my contacts do you understand so what I chose as my automatic um, place of saving contact is my email. So it's saving to my Google email. It's saving as a Google email contact. So after this thing, now we're going to wait for a while. After a while, you, even, you have to off your phone, on it back. And then you are going to see that the whole numbers in that group is now showing as saved. 
So I'll pause this video and wait for a while and then on my phone again and off it, sorry, off it and on it again so that everything will settle and like synchronize and then you see it for yourself. Okay, so this is one of the groups, Sell Superstar 27. You know, before the number here is saved, but now if you look, you can see that they are all saved with the serial numbers I use for them. You can see it here. The numbers are all saved now. So once all these contacts have my number, they can automatically view my status. So I didn't have to be saving it one by one. No, I didn't have to do that. All I needed to do was just extract it and then convert it to a CSV file and send it to my phone and convert it now to a VCF file. Automatically, it got saved to my phone. Like, this is something you can do within 30 minutes. You can save, like, 10,000 contacts within 30 minutes. Even if you have 100,000 contacts, you can save it within one hour. You don't have to be saving it one by one. That is going to, like, cost to take you, like, eternity. It's very, very easy. That way you have these contacts saved to your phone and then they also have yours saved to their phone and they can be viewing your status. That's more views on your WhatsApp. And then these people are prospects. So you can now nurture them into buying from you once you now know the right sales uh, strategies and how to go about selling on your status. So it's that easy. It's not difficult.